8.1 and it's on smooth 98.1 and I'm staring at James like, hello James, really James? It's the introduction. <laughs> okay, this is the introduction, I'm interested. Okay. Lagos Grapevine comes live every uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8.15 and it's what you expect, uh, excitement, uh, good gist, good gossip and especially lots of entertaining stories. But first we start in our usual Grapevine tradition uh, by introducing our analyst in the studio talking about Oris. Oris Yay! Oris. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Oh, Thank you for time. having me, Valentine. Somebody's having a great morning. Uh, well, I don't know about that. I <laughs> <laughs> you already heard the voice of James. Hi, James. Yeah. Okay. All right. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Fantastic. Lagos, in usual great brand tra tradition, we start with uh, the songs that we have before us to review. We're reviewing uh, three songs today. The first is a song and a video by Sars and uh, Wald. Uh, the song Trouble. There's a collaboration there. Trouble is by Sars and Wald. Lagos, when you listen, please let us know what you think of the songs and really share your observations about them and your comments on uh, the songs that we review this morning because we're reviewing it with you. Send your messages through WhatsApp to 0809-444-0981. That is 0809-4440-981. On, uh, on Twitter, we're at smooth 91 fam Use that hashtag, grapevine981. Without further ado, we'll start with the first song. It's called Trouble with Wald and Sars. <laughs> I don't know why I chose you. Oh, wow. yeah. right there, so I don't know oh, why I won't choose. Can't be the only I saw you. I mean, I saw you. Your love brings me plenty of trouble. Trouble. Say it's easy, you need to never love us. All the boys and the girls that lie about you. Shoot them down so they run and talk about you. Yeah, I'm a fool for you, so whatever. They can talk about me when I'm a fool for you, so whatever. I'll be here by your side whenever. When your love is with it forever. Soon as I live for And there you go, Trouble with Sars featuring, and of not featuring, Trouble uh, with Sars and Wall together, uh, you know, collaborating to make this song. Uh, guys, wh what do you make of this? Oris, you sound excited. Yeah, it's an, I think it's an instant classic. <laughs> it's such a, it's a great song. It's just fantastic. Um, I think someone needs to give this guy, what's his name, Sars, mm. this... I don't know, this is a word for like three years, just give it this <laughs> <laughs> Just give it to the guy. And I think I like Ward. Um, I'm not quite. Uh, you think you're not convinced? Yeah, you know the thing is, you know, he's kind of new. So I'm not really <laughs> sure about the songwriting, but his vocals. I mean, the way he sings mm. is just something. Uh, so what happens in this song is, I like the idea of singing a love song, mm. but the beat seems to be more suggestive. Okay. So something between, like, it is a song you can romp to. I hope that's yeah, fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll go with rock. Rock, rock. To. rock. rock. Here we go. Yeah. That's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> James. Yeah, I mean, from the PG, PG. Oh, yeah, PG and breakfast radio. Yes. And um, world. I mean, this is not the first time we're, we're talking about world on, on the show. Mm -hmm. Um, I think the guy is actually um, of course all artists or everybody is in their own way, in your own, in your own way. But this guy has a sound that's yeah, just that just captivates yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, there's a, there's something about his delivery. There's something about mm. his texture. I mean, we've, we've, re we've reviewed the song before, but uh, I mean the video just got released, and uh, right now you said you said when you saw it yesterday it was about a thousand views. Now it's climbed up to two thousand, uh, six thousand actually, six thousand two hundred sixty views. As I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, I mean, which so, is actually very impressive as well. Mm. I, and then. It should shout get more out, though, shout really. out to, really to Sars, actually. No, Sars is brilliant. Sars is, is, is well, it's been like for such a long time, too, you know? Yes. Been a long time. Mm -hmm. Not like last year, it has been for a long time. Oh, this is today. Have you not seen Sars throw back picture? <laughs> <laughs> just be like, wow, brother. Uncle. Okay. 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 I like, I like this, 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 this signature to his beats now, where he goes really... I really love that. I mean, I think it's started with Mignola or so. I think so. I think that's where I first noticed that sound. Yeah, but isn't this different, though? I think he's usually like a fast tempo guy. Well, this, yes, this song has something like it's still it's still very drum based, like percussion based. Well, no, but you're thinking about get up. 
I'm thinking about get I'm thinking yeah. about mm-hmm. in your lap, any of the the first two. Mm-hmm. The what's that one about raising up your leg? What is this work? This has nothing to do with me. This is the song. No, it's only okay, you. Okay, okay. She's back, isn't she? Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Alright. So we're going to the next song now that we're about to review. By the way, that uh, video is just out, so you should check it out on YouTube. Just trouble at T R O B U L Sars and World. Yes. Our next track is Good To You by Neza. Yeah, so mm. Neza was a nice little surprise. He just sent an email. Mm. Um, and Neza is Rwandan um, and tends to be around Nigeria sometimes. Canadian Rwandan, very interesting. And so their people just reached out to us because clearly we're international. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Shout out to us. <laughs> um, so I just thought, okay, let's give it a listen. I listen. I, I want to know what the rest of you think. So uh, here's this one by Neza. It's called Good To You. I actually thought the Neza person is, and she's a Nigerian actually when mm. I listened to it. Mm. There's no nothing about the sound that's said the way Rwanda. She did not sound foreign to you. I'm still Rwanda. So and then there's the PG Neza. I'm like, okay, I mean, we have a lot of talent in mm. Nigeria here, mm. and so sometimes you just think that. Everybody you want to claim everybody. Yeah. That's James. That's what you're so doing. That's what it is. Everyone is Nigerian. <laughs> um, so yes, Neza, a Rwandan singer performer based in Canada, sometimes Nigeria, sometimes Rwanda. Mm-hmm. Um, and so this is her newest song, a titled "Good to You." It was produced by Beats by Jay. So big shout out to uh, I like oh, yeah, guy. France France who introduced her to me. That's his name. So that's why okay. I'm saying he. That's it. That's right. France 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 Apparently since 2000, she was also born in Kinshasa, um, at DRC, so very usual. So she's a full African, that is, mm-hmm. African vibe. So it's nice to know that um, Nigerian sound clearly is dominating Africa. I'm sure yeah. by the time yeah. she comes to the grapevine and we ask her, where would you rather live? She would say Nigeria. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe but maybe not Lagos. Or, or is what you what do you, what do you <laughs> think about this? Oh uh, yeah. I agree with you, good vibe. I'm not very sure about the chorus. You know, the thing about repetitive chorus is, and we'll find you out. Like yeah, no, it's, it's just rep- it's repetitive. Exactly. Rep- it's expected, so, what yeah. happens is, it's either you really like it, or you hate it, yeah. or you like it for some time and then you hate it because mm-hmm. it's just the same, the same. Mm-hmm. Um, the same condition of work I, all the time. So like I have an issue with that. Yeah, because yeah, I, I feel that unfortunately uh, at some point that chorus may begin to grate so on you. Exactly. But that. I guess the, yeah. the, the point is for it to be catchy. Yes. So you don't yes, have to that's that's really the idea. But you know, it's. We still have uh, one more bit of a new music we want to listen to, YJ Stupid, which is off a Red Velvet album. I'm very excited. I have to say I love the, the art, the single art for this. Yes. Because uh, it was photographed by Renny uh, Detiba. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so it was gorgeous stuff there. But you are listening to The Grapevine. It is brought to you by Vogue. 
This is IBK, aka Spaceship. I thought you were late. I was expecting it. No. Guys, I was late! But I was just in. I said it. I said it. I said it. Yeah, yeah. But it was important, Jason. You guys will find out soon. What you said? Oh, yeah, because I haven't broken news to you. What is that? Uh, Where is the understand that every stumbling block is actually a stepping oh, wow. stone. Verve in your vision helps you see nothing but possibilities. And verve in your hand? Game changer! Well, let's just say that's how you get the wood. So, no matter what you're into, verve is key to opening the doors you want. So, have you got verve? Well, the rewarding yeah, way yeah, to yeah, make yeah. payments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. friendly. Uh, yeah, you yeah. now ruined my own because I was going to tell you. Yeah. Have you ever been on your way to an event you considered? <laughs> 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 well, yeah, it's not supposed to be about, about your work on the show. Ask yourself, yeah, yeah. what am I looking yeah. for? Yeah. No problem. Life can be stressful sometimes. Stuff just really hits you and makes you weak. Sometimes, it's not even necessarily that bad. It may just be that you are tired, sad, a little exhausted, or just worn out. On those days, when I have a good the next thing to go wrong hits you hard. Even if it's just a tiny thing, you just want to scream, No! I can't! I just can't anymore! In that moment, you lose so your thunder. News, you feel like it's the end. <laughs> you can't about. wish for that. Ah, it well, helps see even the best of The birthday. thing is, oh, if we... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. His name is Ferrom. 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 He's 70 today. Oh, oh, yeah. So in three minutes, it's always when we come back. Mm. Yeah. So what is that? What? Maybe I will just understand. Um, we can make I thought it was going to say something. Yeah, I think it's stupid, it's stupid. Mm. Oh. I, I, was going to, so I was going to say something like that, but I'm like, let me leave yeah. that. Let, let me leave that. Wow. Like you guys. It's so harsh up in this room. It's so harsh. And I even sent a message. I had to come in, let's talk. Ah, thank God, thank God. She's back in like two days. Maybe when you get a better symbol. Wow. Right, no, no, true. <laughs> I've listened to the album, so I don't know. But yeah, that's song, I'm like, let's listen to the context. Yeah. But a lot of people feel about fix up your life. Yes. Yes. What? That's how people feel about fix up your life. People, people, people don't know anything, please. That song, that song is great. That song was great from the instant I thought so, but uh, some people were very, like, very like, No, people were waiting for People were just angry. I think it was just angry. Just angry. Ah, no. Please, don't touch your But then it's even better in context of the album than it is independently. Like, independently, I loved it. It was too funny. But then in context, I was like, You did walk. You did. But again, big shout out to Odunsi for making him read that. Odunsi writes, yes. Oh, he read. Oh, Odunsi yeah, it was Odunsi that did. I mean, I was like, 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 I um, if you were wondering what you're listening to, uh, it is a great vinyl with 98.1, and that was YJ. Uh, her new now. song, um, Stupid, <laughs> is what came out um, just there. And we would love to hear um, what you think of Valentine. is very insistent. Valentine, just say how you feel. Valentine, energy you used to say last the same time. energy. Just the same energy. Yes, just the same energy. Yes, right there. And say, yes, Val, yes. how do you feel I'm about not, this song? I'm not song? afraid of any of you. <laughs> oh, YJ, I'll say brother. Sh shout out to YJ. The song title is apt. Oh, oh, oh. oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 see, you said oh, this in, it's on a great, YouTube. It's a great People song title. We're watching. It's a fantastic song okay, title. Okay, Valentine well, says he thinks the song is I, stupid, like the song title. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah said. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let us let well, us say what it is. What, James? You said you said it. <laughs> I said it's not a very good song. I don't know why YJ is rapping, and the best part of the song comes immediately after. Yes, yeah, the Valentine, singing. Like exactly the singing, mm -hmm. and yeah. again it has that same thing. 
the I'm not stupid like mm. like hundred times. I'm like, okay, where are most of the songwriter? Where is that guy? Well, you know, what about the argument for emotion, right? So the, the rap, even though yes, I, I will say it, it, it is some par as, as far as, as rap verses are, are, are concerned, but I understand the emotional delivery of it and why it was structured in the way that it was structured. Um, because of what the song is talking about, it is very. It feels like she just threw it out. Like it's an angry song. Yeah. yeah. So, so are you saying that the only way you can convey anger is through rapping? Angry. No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah, but that's, Guys, angry, but that's not valid. Yeah, please. So when it comes to the rapping part, part, I didn't mm-hmm. think it was a problem. She's not a rapper. We this clearly is very, an, a very evidence. Unusual, the evidence right there. Very unusual. Wow. Um, you know, vibe. <laughs> just rap, I just. Do you know what I felt? Emotional, like she just mentioned. Mm-hmm. I just. Uh, why did you have vex? That's how I felt. That's how I felt. No, but no, that's what I'm saying. When we ask the opinion now, <laughs> I'm used to, can you imagine what this guy is doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm speaking my mind. No, but I thought, I, I, don't, I, I feel like we had high expectations from what Me too. I hope cool the album is better than the song, bro. Oh. Red Velvet, listen to it. Um, I've just gone to download it actually, mm. so I haven't listened yet. I I'm haven't sit down well. and listen to it. Uh, but Wadi has this, and, I, and she's still gonna come. I'm gonna she make had a great, great first album this. once again. Uh, she, she, had again. she had a great first album. A okay. great first album. Yeah, okay, that's great. what you keep going back to. Yes, I'm um, But yeah, interesting, guys, send us your thoughts. We'd love to know. And some of the thoughts are already started coming in up on WhatsApp. We've got quite a few. Um, so let us see if I can get to some of them. Remember that WhatsApp number is 0809-444-0981. Okay, uh, there's this one in by Andrew Ennakifo who says the Neza song is a very beautiful song. That is very true. The Neza song is a beautiful song. Um, while we've got this one in from Cesar who says, I'm sorry, it's not today, me too. Huh? <laughs> the guy is too good, boss. Yes. He's too, too good, mm. indeed. And um, this one in from Cruz who says, Waji Stupid is a two and a half jam. More love it. Over what? Over what, please? Please, please, please. complete. Two and a half over. Complete your marking. We don't really understand. Over two. Um, and then somebody, or Ziggy from DI says, on this new Waji, lol, she should have gotten a rapper to write for her now. The delivery was way off. It distracted me from her beautiful voice. That's true. I, I think agree. that was the general. I guess you could just. I think so. I think so. Mm-hmm. Uh, let us carry on um, up on Twitter as well. There are a few messages, but first and most important, Bayo Mishri is listening. I'm um, one of our favorites here on the Grapevine, and today is his son's birthday. Yay! Yay! So happy birthday to Pharaoh Me. He's seven years old today. Shout out to you, Bayo. Sending lots of love Shout away. Out Bio. Bio. Just great things. Right, and Pharaoh Me, if you're listening, make sure your dad buys you all the toys you want today. Today is the day you can tax him. <laughs> Tax your dad for the best toys. Go to Hamley's. Hamley's kind of has auntie? four floors of gorgeous oh, toys. Great auntie, but just bad sister. See, yeah, I'm yeah. just telling you, but you know I love I, you. I hope he's not listening. Bankrupt the I, guy. Hope, I hope you're listening. Good time. I hope he's not listening. Happy <laughs> birthday, Fermi. <laughs> your seventh floor. day. Drag your dad to Hamley's. If you need directions, I'll send it to your father now. <laughs> I tell daddy, he has to give you a piggyback ride. Mm, on the way there and the back. <laughs> Okay, let's move on now. Um, uh, you're still listening to The Great Find. This is brought to you by Verve on yes. Smooth 98.1. And we are going to talk about uh, Simi's live in Lagos concert that happened on Sunday. She has been apologizing to fans over the lateness and uh, lack of organization of her live in Lagos concert. Um, she says, I'm sorry, I'm probably more upset than everyone, but I accept responsibility. There was a show here the night before and it took forever to clear out and set up. And I didn't even have time to sound check, so I apologize. But that being said, I'm so thankful to everyone that came and stayed. And I do remember, um, I think Adekunia had tweeted as well, just saying, yeah. you know, I'm really proud of you. I was happy to be there to support you. Um, and it's tough. Um, somebody, I had a very interesting uh, interview uh, a, a day or two ago um, with the Net NGO doing a roundup of, of their 2018. And the question yeah. came up as to oh, why is T.Y. not having an end of year concert that he feels um, that there might be issues in terms of uh, sexist things in the industry for mm. women. And I thought, well, Maybe it's just a clever decision because end of the year is a tough it's time, tough. first of all, to do a concert. Mm-hmm. Dates are back-to-back booked, you're in competition with so many people, and holding a concert is not deemed, as you can see, and Simi is, is sort of suffering the backlash. Mm-hmm. What, what are your thoughts on this, guys? Yeah. So, late. What? <laughs> late now seems to no, be no, very common yeah, but Because I, when you heard, yeah. what was the last show you went for? I thought she had. Started, no, that was the Nigerian thing. Mm. The, the, the Nigerian, Nigerian music entertainment. Yeah, right. right. yes, no, exactly. Nigerian music entertainment. I kind of thought, thought Simi would that's be different, music. honestly. Mm. Like, that, that, that's how I thought. But, no, know, but it wasn't like that last year now. No. But you know the reality of organizing these shows, and this is something that at Smooth, anyone that's ever been to a Smooth concert, you'll understand that our concerts are not just on time, but they are executed spectacularly. But the cost of that is immense. The venues are booked out a week 
before. Do you know the cost of having a venue for a week or even two days or even three days before yes. a place like a hotel? That costs a lot of money and that's the sad but honest reality of what it costs to be on time. Mm -hmm. If there is an event at a place like that the day before, it is there's no magic you're going to do. The event yeah, is going yeah. to end in the morning hours. It's going and to end start out, when are those start... when are those event people going to come yeah, and collect yeah, yeah. their property to leave before your team comes in to set up? So it's a logistic problem. It's a logistical Lashley. issue. That's mm. that's the reality. Mm. So really it's to have a about green. Mm. Because it's, 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 them. How about them? It's not their, it's not their responsibility. Not that is that is on the person no, that's deciding to use the because they can no. afford so, so the back So long as they're not booking this issue come, two events um, comes up all the time, you should do something about it as the. It, as it is not owner. their no. It is it is on the person throwing the event. Mm -hmm. It is on you. First of all, because all all the venue owner can do maybe is penalize the organizers for not leaving at a particular time, and that's financial. Yeah, then maybe that should be something they should do then. But but Often to take the recording academy's eccentric taste in music, coupled with its knack for something out of the ordinary, and it is in anticipation of its 61st award show that the recording academy released a hashtag Let's Hear It ad on its Instagram account on Friday, and the 27th second advert featured music from IBK Spaceship Four. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Amazing. Major. Amazing. Now, Major excuse stuff, me to people out there, if you don't know IBK, you are on a long, long thing. <laughs> um, we are so proud of, of this. Um, I'm just proud of IBK because he works so hard. We, we've, yeah. already, we've always said it. He's a, he's yeah. a genius. Yeah. We know yeah. that. Um, how he sits, how he arranges music, um, the, the whole concept behind it. And he created um, music for commercials, which is a 10-minute album of yeah. one-minute songs each. Um, he, he deliberately designed them so that they could be used in commercial spaces. Mm -hmm. And the Grammy picked up on that, and I think it's a fantastic, fantastic thing. It is. It is um, I sent him a message straight away, and he was just like, you know, God writes the story. We just act it out. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so worldwide. I'm really worldwide. Okay, if you are listening, <laughs> let me tell you. I'm going to use you to fans from now to forever. <laughs> forever. My family up and I wish I'd, I'd remember to actually point this out. So definitely for people who've had phenomenal years, and I know we're going to have to do a sort of a great buy round at the yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um IBK is we definitely should. having, this is a fantastic way to, to cap is. off this year. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, um, up next, Ricardo Banks has edited um, from uh, Mavens, and right. there's a lot of back and forth. What is the joke? Okay. What's that inside joke? That internal monologue you have? Know, it about? must be happening on yeah, the screen. I don't know. Hear it from me. What about his vision? He is no longer a member of the Megan's family. As Ricky Tom Tom, um, he announced mm -hmm. his exit from the Don Jazzy led label on his Instagram page on Friday, December seventh. And this is after they'd been Don Jazzy had come out to say, "Oh no, 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 he's still with us. He's still with us." Um, but you know, he's he's, he's out. Um, and he wrote this epic thing about he's writing in tears, yeah. not from a place of pain, but joy and gratitude, a place of bliss mm. and satisfaction because I am more than content um, with how far this opportunity has brought me. Uh, and to be fair, it has brought him relatively far, but I guess he feels it's time to grow. But every time we come to this point, I always have to have that discussion of, are these artists ready to go solo? Mm. Yes. What kind of artists? structure do you have? Yeah. It's one thing to say you want to start a business by yourself mm. and it's another thing to have done your homework mm. before yes. you made that decision, which is something also... in the entertainment industry. Remember the whole case of, uh, what's, what's their name again? That's the okay, problem. Well, Everybody, everybody, has everybody, 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 everybody has a story. Everybody. The band went through the same. Mm, oh, yes. Absolutely, absolutely. But the band has always been a businessman. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. yeah. Before even the music, as definitely. far as I'm concerned. So they just realized that being an entertainer is quite profitable. Mm, yes. so, you know, Most of them are just distracted with the money. Um, yeah. uh, but my brother, also, let's let's not forget, if you're in a label and maybe you feel um, you don't really have control over certain things, then my brother, wait till you get No, so I'm not thinking about artists <laughs> about, about me. Eventually, I want to listen to Victor Idea. Yeah. All of the oh, irony of Who's to get that song? I know. Mm -hmm. I, I have to talk about it with this interview as well. I was like, listen, I eat humble pie, no problem. I understand the cultural relevance. Mm -hmm. so, so here's what, what I understand about mm -hmm. Maven, um, personally. This is a personal opinion. Okay. So I think Maven is a coalition of different artists. Mm -hmm. You have your, somebody is willing to sponsor your mm -hmm. project, and mm -hmm. then we have Maven who, like, supposed to be like a. When you say Maven, do you mean Don Jazzy? Jazzy. Don Jazzy. Okay. It's Maven, I mean, uh, it's Maven, not Don Jazzy. Name. No, not Don Jazzy. All right. Let me just say Maven. Because when you talk about, if we look at the work structure of Maven, there's also Tega, who does a lot of the background work. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And Tega is supposed to be um, this guy's brother, Ricardo's elder brother also. Okay. Yes. So, which is why, I, I don't know how this is going to work. Mm -hmm. Tega is still working with Maven. Mm -hmm. um, he he sort of controls theory. the finances, the uh, you know, bookings and everything. A lot of everything. things. Mm -hmm. A lot of things. Oh. Stage management, a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know how this is going to work, mm. but um, like fully rightly pointed out, Make sure you have a plan. Make sure you have a proper structure that can make this work. A lot of artists in Nigeria are just 
there. They are just they'll just show up mm. on stage and leave. Mm. They don't know no OAPs. They don't know. They don't have any numbers. They don't. They, they don't know any distribution network. Yeah. Yes, so I hope yeah, that's, he has that's a, plan. a big, that's a big so, mm. Because the first thing that people think about when they hear this kind of stories is okay, what song are you going to release next? Mm. That sort of signals um, the, direction. Know, the direction your growth yes. is going to go, your descent, you know, mm. so to speak. But I have to ask this: besides Tiwa Savage. Is um, Marvin or the Decline? Or? If you can say it out loud, he's going to decline. I'm only asking, I'm only asking. Where is our curly haired boy genius? Where is our curly haired, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, Corey Day, right? That's a long time, right? Yeah, once upon a time. just went. Me. So it is like know. the only time we hear about them besides Tiwa is when somebody is leaving. So the Yaya left. So I'm like, what is happening exactly? I'm just asking. I'm just asking. It's an important question. But they still have the tough feet, though. <laughs> so, um, fans have been reacting to Kevin Hart stepping down from the 2019 Oscars hosting position, um, is what our next story is. Um, we already know that uh, the police are investigating uh, Gideon's uh, attack, so mm -hmm. I'm not going to deal with that story. Mm -hmm. But for those of you who don't know, Gideon the KK um, uh, said that he was brutalized by the Nigerian police, and he most likely was, and Commissioner of Police is looking into that. But now, Kevin Hart stepped down as host for the Oscars, we know that. Um, what um, some people may not know is that the Oscars are struggling to find a replacement host. <laughs> so it looks like they're as just going to have to do a voice of God. Somebody's just going to have to do <laughs> it from the background, um, as it is. And fans You'll have been reacting someone. quite seriously. Someone's saying if Kevin Hart actually said this as a statement, then he should apologize. If it was a joke, then it's my belief he should not apologize. Let anyone, don't let anyone make you feel less as a human being. Um, you know, being gay is beautiful is what somebody tweeted. This is not our position here necessarily. Um, so yeah, I mean, very interesting stuff. Well, I thought Kevin had um, apologized actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, when he was stepping said, down. Yeah, the problem is, you know, general. his very first um, reaction was to not apologize. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think that's particular. That's particularly what just. And I think it's because the the Oscars asked him, and I want to know what you guys feel about institutions trying to force comedians. Um, to tour a certain line, understanding very much that comedians poke fun at everything. We just did a story earlier on today where another comedian, a British comedian in the UK, um, uh, refused to perform at the School of Oriental and African Studies, so mm -hmm. as because he was asked to sign a behavioral agreement, agreement yes, um, for him to say he would not touch yeah, issues of um, sexuality, of um, you know, racism. Him, yeah. And I'm like, that, that that's intense censorship for any comedian. Mm -hmm. Should comedians be subject subjected to that? Well, for me, for Lou, I don't I'm consider Dave Chappelle. Yes, <laughs> yes. For me, for me, I don't think um, before, aside being a comedian, it's still human. It's yeah, human sense. Yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. so yes, it's somewhere. Yes, it's common sense. Mm -hmm. So I, I just feel like um, you cannot hide behind that whole thing. You have a comedian, and then you can just say whatever you want to say. Mm -hmm. It's that when it, it can be hurtful to other people. I mean, mm -hmm. even as bear, like, I don't need to be a comedian to say certain things, and then you somebody will not. He don't go into the kitchen. Do you understand? So in that. this case, that way. Why I have, I mean, I feel like comedy should let people. Is um, Kevin said this thing like how many years ago? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So the tweet where he was tweet. saying in his own, in his usual self. Mm -hmm. And then if you listen to him, he said, I mean, you, you cannot keep dragging him about something as what for just for before. That was the wrong move to my mind. Sure. That was the wrong move. You know, what was he, should wrong? Showed, he, he really should have showed Remus at the time. Some kind of, you know, like Maybe. okay, I, I did this, no, but, he but you know, he jokes for yeah, exactly. Living. But you know, he said it at the time he was living already. He you jokes know? So for was, living. No, I'm not even against the, yeah. the idea of the joke. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I'm saying that at the time when he felt like Kevin and Sellers always, always wanted to host mm. the Oscars. Okay. Yes. Now they're like, okay, you know what? We stand for this. Mm. All you have to do is apologize. And he came yeah. out and had a defense. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I, <sighs> not I, twice, I, right? I, I think at, at the height they did, I think you do have to take a position when an organization wants to control something or for you, do, for me, for you to do this with us. You see what happened to him, right? You, you finally apologize, all the same. Yeah, but, but I think he'd already done that before. He said, listen, but, was declined, never, but that's so in wasn't general. Wasn't you know, yeah. I never intend to hurt people specifically, but you must understand that sometimes with jokes, they go be in the firing line. Mm -hmm. Things are funny to everyone mm -hmm. until they're about them. Of course. No, exactly. Yes. That's the reality. But the Oscars have a stand. You know, it's just they sad, do. right? And that's now the they're standing. Who is going to host? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not available, though. They'll, They'll find somebody. They'll find somebody. They'll find somebody. I know. All right, guys, we're done, though. Yes. I'm out of these messages. No, are we done? Ziggy, yes, we are. The time is over. James doesn't want to be done. Ziggy says, James is going to sit in. I'm not living.
this for stars of world's beautiful 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 stellar production and world is like high up on the list of best writers he says neza she sang fiction it's a nice vibe i was waiting for the connection with nigeria then i hear beats by jay yeah it's a vibe we like vibes in nigeria yes, and on me she's apologized a thousand times even though it isn't entirely her fault um for losing the money on this issue contracts and agreements should be considered thoroughly mm -hmm. um uh, this is uh what uh, andrew's also saying if you want to organize an event it's not the event owner's business who uses the venue the day before they're in business to make money leave the convention center out of it if you want to have an event and plan well mm -hmm. money is meant to be made every day at those venues and then look from the other says if people are talking nollywood ay is talking too mm -hmm. how do you go is it not a part of them <laughs> what do you mean so active in bracket never mind oh, oh, no. No. Cool somehow. Zook, i know your hand do i'll let ay know yeah, you what is james is going with ay leaving mi's ted talk comes to mind again absolutely mm -hmm. let's go watch that ted talk that was a good one and tedx please Always. be careful yes um, uh, and ozzy uh, says if the academy asks bass came out nicely he might do it ask and you shall receive <laughs> this is the best opportunity for nigeria from years to the but they might trevor. not come back we're, we're, we're gradually acting like united states mm. you know like we're the, we're the mm. king of like africa was, right? <laughs> uh, but we are yeah i knew fool was going to say that truth be told <laughs> <laughs> Lagos, thank you so very much for listening uh top of the hour we 